Hello, I'm Kit Alowitz, and welcome to this short video series on the seven habits of highly effective people. By now, you've likely read the seven habits book. Did you like it, or did you really like it? Now, today, I'd like to give you a brief Kit Alowitz somewhat biased reteach of how the seven habits of highly effective people is one of the smartest books ever written. Why? Because Stephen R. Covey, the author of the book, took natural laws, he took principles, and organized them into habits. And then he went even further and put them in sequential fashion to truly solution or create a solution for living a truly highly effective life, however that tends to show up for you. So let's begin with a brief overview. There are seven habits, and each of them build on each other towards mastery. Now, a habit is simply an overlay of three things, knowledge, skill, and desire. Knowledge is what to do, skill is how to do it, and desire, that's the elusive one because that requires desire, or call it will, or the want to do something. So here's a theory. I'm going to suggest that the lack of desire, or at least a strong, strong desire, is at the root of almost all failed goals. Chew on that one for a minute. Let me give you another theory. What what you see, how you see the world drives what you do, and what you do drives what you get, and what you get reinforces how you see things. How you see the world drives everything in your world. If you want to do different things and get different results, you must simply begin by seeing it differently. The seven habits build on each other as they begin at the level of independence, meaning, or I should say dependence, you depend on others to survive, to independence, I can take care of myself, and finally, to interdependence, I can achieve most by working with others. This is at the core of the seven habits. Okay, so let's give you a little teaser of each of the seven habits as we build through this seven part series. So habit number one, this is the habit of being proactive. This habit offers that by assuming full, full responsibility and accountability for results, everything changes. Habit number two, begin with the end in mind. This habit offers that or gives the invitation to identify truly what matters most in your life, both personally and professionally. Habit number three, put first things first. This habit teaches that to prioritize and achieve your most important goals first, you've got to be clear about them instead of constantly reacting to urgencies. Habit number four is think win-win. This habit offers that by collaboration and working together, we can effectively build relationships of trust and mutual benefit. Habit number five is first seek to understand, then to be understood. This habit offers the value of really tackling that communication is, what it is and how it works, is key to actively uh, mutually going for mutual ben out outcomes that are mutual beneficial for all parties. Habit number six is synergy. This habit teaches that through cre creative cooperation, you can solve almost any problem and opportunity. Habit number seven is sharpen the saw. This habit teaches the immense value of inter integrating continuous improvement and learning into our lives in every dimension of life. And we're going to talk about four when we get to that habit. So we've actually created one short video per habit to give you a little bit more understanding and invite you to take the journey of internalizing, integrating, and finally institutionalizing the seven habits in every fabric every aspect of your life. So let's begin today with this video talking about habit number one, be proactive. Habit number one is all about taking responsibility and initiative. Imagine what your life would be like if you took full responsibility and took initiative for all areas of your life, all parts, both personal and professional. Habit one is believing and knowing that there's always a way to get it done if we're willing to take responsibility, resourcefulness, and initiative. Habit number one is knowing that you are a product of your choices. Habit number one is recognizing that there is always a multitude of stimulus that we get hit with every day in our lives. Following the stimulus, there's always some sort of response on our part. A proactive person puts a space, put a space between the stimulus and the response and chooses wisely. For in between that space is, our, is truly our ultimate freedom to choose. Being proactive is also about having proactive language in what we say and do. Proactive language focuses on things that we can impact 
rather than focusing and getting mired down on things we can't impact. And there is very little that you come to discover that you can't have some sort of impact on. As you work within your circle of influence, which means things that you can impact, versus being fixated in our circle of, con of concern, things that you can't impact, you'll find that the circle of concern gets smaller and smaller as your circle of influence gets bigger and bigger until finally you realize that you have complete control of it at minimum what you think what you say and how you behave I invite you and encourage you to take complete responsibility for your life and all parts of it you will be shocked how you how, how you will see things differently I invite you to become the seven habits live it breathe it do it be it I'm Kid Alowitz and we'll see you next time